Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 26th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Virgo. And uh, I'm going to call this like a 333 reading. I don't know. It's something I came up with in the shower. So um, we're just going to do a regular spread like I used to, which is just three rows. Then we're going to clarify with tarot. And then we're going to clarify it again with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. And then I'm going to pull three yes or no question cards at the end. So I don't know if that's 333 three, three, or 3333 three, 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 or I don't know. It's like a certain number of threes, and that's why we're calling it this. So uh, let me know what you think. But like I said, it's either a really good idea or a really bad idea. There is no in between with me, right? Usually they're just bad ideas, plain and simple. Uh, you start off with this bridge card. It says successfully overcoming a problem. Uh, like every single person has had some card of this, <laughs> you know, like successfully overcoming a problem or something in this deck or the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. You also have this bouquet. It says compliments from an admirer. So if you're looking for love, it doesn't really look like a love reading to me necessarily yet. Again, that could change in the clarification, but I do feel, you know, obviously it could be compliments from an admirer. Oh, you do have the Net of Cups here, um, which, you know, could be like a knight in shining armor type of person coming in for you. If you're not looking for love, I do feel there could also just be kind of compliments coming from work. You have this goldfish card at the end that says increase in material wealth. Amazing. There could be, you know, money coming in for you, obviously. And you also have the sun card. It says happiness and well-being. Not only that, your next card is a hat card. It says you will be playing a different role. So again, these compliments, it could be like a change in position at work. You could be getting a raise or promotion, or you could be asking for a raise or promotion as well. Uh, you have the Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Swords here. I feel that you are expanding like everyone else. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm pretty sure I always say it to you, Virgo. I feel like it is very, very important for you and pretty much only you. I mean, I feel like it's important for everyone, but for some reason, I feel like you are the sign that needs to hear it the most, that you expand into empty spaces. I feel a lot of us could be feeling restrictions or we could be thinking that certain things are a restriction when really it's not restriction. It's like kind of emptiness that we are feeling in the ether, in the universe, whatever you want to call it. And we just have to expand to fill that space. And so how do we do that? Well, you have the five of wands here. Five of wands is like learning from risk. It is the card of conflict and competition. But again, that's not the only thing it represents. And so taking risks, um, putting yourself out there, um, standing out in some way. I always say that we're entering into the age of Aquarius. The whole point of Aquarius is to be your own little star. You know, Aquarius is the star card. So, you know, the biggest risk we could take right now, and I think everybody's maybe fear is the fear of exposure, the fear of, you know, being um, found out to be a phony or, you know, putting yourself out on YouTube or whatever, you know, it's kind of the, different, but all the same, right? Everybody's fears, maybe the fear of being exposed, maybe if you want love, the fear of being, you know, with a person, being exposed with a person, whatever. And so these are like what everybody's dealing with. And that's like one of the quickest ways we can expand is to put ourselves out into the world. Some of you literally could be traveling or moving here. You have the Knight of Cups, Definitely could be a knight in shining armor, but this knight of cups is holding a heart. And for the past couple of weeks, I've been getting these messages of really needing to focus on being very heart-based and doing the things that your heart is telling you to do in your life, because that's where the most success is going to come from. You also have the ace of swords. Ace of swords is a victory and it is a card of success. So I do feel there could be some sort of victory coming in for you here. I kind of do feel there's communication coming in for you here, but um, you know, what I will say here, Virgo, without clarifying is I'm not too crazy about this right here. Going Ace of Swords, Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Some of you could be receiving communication from a person who left you out in the cold. So, you know, I would definitely be careful of that if you are not wanting to hear from a person. Uh, next, you have this boot card. It says, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. You have this Knight of Wands. We'll talk about that in a minute. Then you also have this hat card. It says you will be playing a different role. So it wouldn't surprise me if some of you were like getting a raised promotion or if you were just getting a different job altogether at this time. Uh, definitely a time to put the work in. Again, your opposite sign, Pisces, had a lot of stuff that is similar to this. Knight of Wands. They have the Knight of Wands here, um, which you have. They also had something about putting the work in. So I feel it's definitely time with this boot card that says you really have to put the work in to kind of like make something happen. You even have Pisces right here, Hangman. So you have the Hangman, the Five of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. I love this Knight of Wands because 
uh, she is kind of like jumping through this hoop <laughs> that is on fire. And, you know, there's multiple ways that we could look at that. Number one, she's doing something badass. She's jumping through a hoop that is on fire. So, you know, you could be getting a lot of attention. You have the sun card at the end. I feel there's a lot of attention for you, but you could be doing something that people in your life don't expect. Again, entering into the age of Aquarius, I feel a lot of people have the opportunity to shock people in your life. And that's exactly what you should be doing. You should be shocking the people in your life because um, when you do it, it gives them permission to do something crazy that's good. And then they do it. So you're like inspiring other people. And I feel that this Knight of Wands is saying you could be doing something like jumping through a hoop, doing something that requires work with that boot card, but also could be very inspiring to people. You have the Five of Wands. Part of me feels like people could be telling you not to do whatever you're about to do <laughs> here. Again, I feel like this comes from protection. You know, ever since we started with Neptune and Pisces, I've been telling people to be very careful of the people that you share your goals with, your dreams with. I don't think that you know, people want the worst for us. I don't think they want anything bad for us. But sometimes if we come up with some sort of crazy idea, you know, people could be telling you, hey, you're crazy. Why would you do that? It's dangerous or whatever. But really, they're just trying to protect you. So, you know, I always tell people we don't necessarily have to cut these people out of our lives. But I do feel like we have to just be careful of who we share our ideas with, because if they crush our dreams, then we're never going to do it. Right. So I'd be careful of that. I do also feel some of you could just be taking a risk. I get more of a risk feeling here. Again, normally these people are fighting with sticks. So they're training. They're learning how to fight. They're not really fighting. And I feel for a lot of you, you could be taking a risk. Probably something you've been thinking about for uh, at least four years. The, you have the hangman here and I get the number four popping into my head. I don't know why, but <laughs> I don't know. It's what I get at least four years. And I feel you've been thinking about something, you know, the hangman is traditionally hanging from the tree of wisdom and knowledge. So, you know, he has everything he needs to get moving on his journey. He just has to get off the pole. He just has to get moving towards whatever it is that he's trying to do. You have this goldfish card, which says increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I feel both. And you have the sun, happiness and well-being. So clearly there's a lot of happiness, joy, abundance, just like good things coming in for you here and definitely an increase in material wealth as well. You have the Five of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Two of Pentacles. I feel the Five of Pentacles clearly is saying do not call attention to your weaknesses, especially with that Five of Wands. You know, people, maybe you're saying that you, you know, want to move or travel and people are saying, well, you don't really have the money to move or travel, but maybe you don't need the money to move or travel, right? I kind of feel like this is what people are saying. You know, it's like there are plenty of opportunities where you could maybe like go to another country and teach English or something. And, you know, that could be one way that you could do it without having money, right? I don't know. You're going to have to look for it. You're going to have to find it. The boot card, you're going to have to do the work to find these opportunities. But, um, you know, the Five of Pentacles is really a card that says you need to be resourceful. You know, there's normally the Five Pentacles behind the two people that are on the card. It's a card that says the money is there. The Five Pentacles are on the card. They just need to go knock on the door of the church that they're outside of. They just need to go inside the church, right? It's like the solution is there, but they need to look at it. They're, they're paying too much attention to their misery on the traditional Five of Pentacles. So, you know, the Five of Pentacles doesn't say, oh, you have no money, you're screwed. It says you have no money, find a solution. It might not even be money. Maybe you need some other type of resource. And the Five of Pentacles says the resource exists and you just need to find a way to go and get it. Uh, you have the moon here. I feel other people can't necessarily see your vision at this time. The moon, nowhere on the moon does it say stop. You know, the moon is a card of warnings and secrets and mysteries, but there's a path straight down the moon and it ends in some mountains. Mountains in the tarot represent achievements. So clearly I feel there's a big achievement coming in for you. You have the Two of Pentacles as well. Two of Pentacles is work hard, play hard, but it's also just hard work. So I feel a lot of you could be putting a lot of work into things. Again, you have that boot card, which really says that you have to put the work in to achieve whatever you're trying to achieve. And that's what I feel like you're doing here. I would definitely make sure to kind of like balance the energies with that Two of Pentacles though, is what I would say. You have the Ace of Pentacles wanting to pop out there. I don't take pop outs. To me, if a card's meant to come out, it'll come out. So uh, we are gonna clarify through here. And let's see, uh, with the Three of Wands, you have the Hangman. You, I, like, I feel like it's time to expand. Three of Wands is kind of my card of what are you waiting for? Normally it's a guy, he's standing at the top of the hill. He's looking in the water. There's three boats in the water. 
and he's kind of like waiting, hesitating. He's like, do I get on those boats? And, you know, that's one way to read it. It's like, normally it's a card of your ships coming in. But really, if you look at the card, the ships are going out. <laughs> and so he could be saying, do I go? Do I go on this adventure? Do I stay where I am? And I feel like you already have all the answers. I feel like this is saying go. And it, it'll probably change your life, whatever you're about to do. With the Knight of Cups, you have the Judgment card. I feel like you're waking up to something. I actually get a conclusion on the Judgment card for you. You know, the Judgment card can represent a conclusion because the... Coffin here kind of represents the their old life. Outside the coffin where they are being called to is their new life. And I feel you are being called to like a new life here for you, Virgo. I feel like you're being called out of your coffin. You're being called to have a transformation. So if you're thinking about like leaving anything behind and having new beginnings, moving, traveling, changing your jobs, getting a new position, I'm getting everything for you here, Virgo. I would do it. I feel like you will be successful. With the Ace of Swords, you have the Seven of Pentacles, change in direction. Seven of Pentacles, he's looking at those Pentacles and he's saying like, is the juice worth the squeeze? Is it worth it for me to start working on these Pentacles or should I grow something else? He's been growing the same thing for too long and he needs to grow something else. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, it's like you've grown as much as you can where you've been up until this point and now it's time for more growth. Now it's time for you to move on to something new, right? So let's see. Uh, with the hangman in the second row, you have the seven of wands, fierce. <laughs> you basically have two sevens, right? One right after the other. Two sevens to me is internal fears don't exist. So definitely time to let go of your fears. Seven of wands says, you know, kind of is a solution as well. Seven of wands, a card of conviction. It says, when you know that you know that you will be successful or that something is for you, then you'll be successful. So it's like the deeper you believe something, the more successful you'll believe you, you will be. So I would like I feel like there's a strong need to kind of like believe in yourself here. Uh, with the five wands, you have the ace of pentacles. Um, there you go. That's why I don't take pop outs. The ace of pentacles also has some mountains in the background right here, just like I was talking about on the moon card. So there's clearly a big opportunity coming in for you. And I kind of feel like it's something that you see, but maybe other people don't see. And I feel that's exactly what you need to work towards is something that you see is successful, but maybe other people don't because you're going to be very successful. With the Nine of Wands, here you go. Victory, success, overcoming problems. I'm pretty sure that in your next three-month reading that I just did for you that you had this card, the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is above the mountains. You can see the mountains right here. It says, you know, we will always experience challenges in life, but the sword is above the mountains. So you will easily be able to overcome any challenges that come your way. It's like a card that says, you know, move towards the mountains. You will be successful. With the five of pentacles, you have the uh, high priestess. Definitely time to trust your intuition. At this time, I feel that uh, definitely very mysterious energy. You might want to watch the Pisces reading if you're dealing with a Pisces or if you have Pisces in your chart. You have a lot of Pisces energy here. But I would also say there's been a lot of Pisces energy in all the readings, Neptune and Pisces. That's probably why. We also have Jupiter going ret is about to retrograde back into Pisces. Uh, and what I would say is just a lot of Pisces energy. So trust your intuition. The, the trick with the high priestess is that she has this crown on her head and it's three stages of a moon. And it kind of represents the fact that she sees the beginning and middle and end of all situations that she's dealing with in her life. Meaning even before something has happened, she sees the beginning, middle and end. So it's about needing to kind of use your imagination to see how you want things to go before they happen <laughs> and use your powers to do that. With the moon, you have the two of pentacles. I kind of just get a very straightforward feeling of like what you put into things is exactly what you're going to get out. You know, there's this figure eight on the top of the two of pentacles or in the middle, I should say. And, you know, it's kind of saying to me like what you put in is what you'll get out of a situation. So make sure whatever you're working on here, clearly that you put the work in. With the Two of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, again, it's kind of funny that you have that bouquet and the Nine of Cups. Like, there could be love in the background, but I feel you're very focused on creating this before you allow love into your life, the Nine of Pentacles, which is kind of like Empress energy. It's pre-Empress energy, but it's like true independence, being able to take care of yourself, having, you know, being having a proper environment as well. So Nine of Pentacles is a card of the environment your environment, the things that are around you. So before you allow love into your life, you might be very focused on kind of uh, creating a proper environment, um, you know, getting healthy, could be anything. And I feel you're very focused on that uh, with those cards. That bottom row, a lot of focus. Ace of Swords twice and the Nine of Pentacles. You know, she has this falcon right here. 
And the falcon on her hand there represents her training her focus. She trains her focus. She tries to be focused, right? So there's a major focus on your focus. <laughs> uh, we're going to use the Oracle of the Radiant Sun now to clarify through again for this 333 reading. Um, with the Three of Wands in the Hangman, you have this egotism card. Or sorry, this is the um, extremism card. For some reason, I thought it was the other card. Um, but I feel that this is saying, like, be careful of pushy situations in your life in general. I would also trust your intuition. There's a bird here. Birds kind of represent your intuition. So I would trust your intuition, especially with that, um, you know, all this Pisces energy going on here. Um, with the Knight of Cups and the Judgment card, you have this birth. Again, like I said, you are. this is like a birth of something new. That's exactly what I was saying on that judgment card. I feel like you're stepping out of the coffins. You're being called to this new life. You have too many cards here that really represent like going through a portal, Ace of Pentacles, cutting something out, Ace of Swords, and moving on to something new. Ace of Swords can represent a sacrifice. Seven of Pentacles, something new. So you're clearly birthing something new into your life. With the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, you have the health card. Again, I feel you are getting healthy. Some of you could be focused on health. Um, I am not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice, but I feel like you could be focusing on your health and staying healthy with this energy. I mean, this is the sun in Virgo. It is literally your card. <laughs> so uh, I feel you could be very focused on that. Of course, right now. I also feel you could be focusing on like other forms of health as well, like your financial health, which would be a good idea with all these financial cards. With the Hangman and the um, Seven of Wands, you have this Harmony card. You know, very interesting that you have that Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a card of kind of drawing a line in the sand and putting up boundaries and saying, I'm willing to allow some things in my life, but not others. And I'm protecting my own Harmony. You can see this guy here. He kind of looks like he's at the top of a hill. Seven of Wands is defending your position at the top of a hill. I feel it's very important for you this week to protect your happiness, your harmony, your peace, right? So I would make sure to put boundaries up against things that interrupt your peace. Uh, with the Five of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, here you go. You have this flirtation card. Like I said, flirtation to me is more background energy, right? If you're flirting with someone, maybe it's not as serious as... Um, you know, as it could eventually be. But again, it looks to me like you're not, maybe you're just not in this love um, mind space at this time, which is perfectly fine, I feel for you, because you're kind of really focusing on getting your energy correct in the right, in, in the first place. And again, as I always say to people, I think when we get our energy correct, when we correct our environment, we create a healthy life, then we naturally attract a person who's healthy, who also is in alignment or, you know, whatever you want to call it, right? And so, there could be kind of some love creeping in here. Definitely you have this admirer card, that bouquet card. You have the Knight of Cups, but you know maybe you're just taking your time, which I, again, I feel like that's perfectly acceptable in this reading. I also feel like something could be flirting with you, It's but it's like an idea. You know, it's like there's a saying like that you're flirting with an idea and that is definitely popping into my head. Definitely something new. This is a number nine card. Nines to me represent newness. And so what I would say here is if you're flirting with a new idea, it might start as a seed, Ace of Pentacles, right? The seed of an idea. But the more you think about it, the more it grows. So definitely something new. Um, with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords, you have this criticism card. This is Mars in Virgo. You have a lot of Virgo cards here, which is really funny. But, you know, I feel this is saying um, don't criticize your own ideas. Um, I would be careful of people who criticize your ideas, which we talked about in this reading. Uh, you know, I would protect your ideas and protect your happiness with that Seven of Wands. But I also feel sometimes the more we look at something, the more it doesn't make sense, right? It's like I've worked with a lot of businesses in my day and I've just seen like a lot of them, they start out with like a really good idea and then they're like, oh, this is, they come up with all these reasons instead of just getting started. I kind of feel that energy here. Not a want jumping through those hoops, right? I feel like this is saying, you know, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to, you know, just get started on things, especially in business. Maybe you make a mistake, but at the same time, at least you started. You know, I kind of get this energy where it's like you come up with a good idea and then, you know, as you think about it, you start to talk yourself out of it. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like you just need to get started. With the Five of Pentacles and the High Priestess, you have this Romance card. So again, could be Romance coming in for you. Um, you know, the Five of Pentacles could say that maybe you've been hurt in the past and and or maybe you're dealing with a person who's been hurt in the past. I do kind of feel you're very similar if you're attracting a person into your life. So maybe you're both just wanting to take it slow. And again, I feel like that's perfectly fine. Um, so I would just take your time. But again, it does kind of look like Romance is more floating around in the reading. I wouldn't say it's like a hard love reading just in general. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles and the Moon, you have the Achievement card. I mean, we literally said the word Achievements on the Moon card when I pulled it <laughs> because of those mountains that are in the background 
of the moon. I feel there's some big achievements. Again, everybody's been getting the moon, and I've been telling everyone, I mean, Neptune and Pisces. The problem with Neptune and Pisces, I feel, is that maybe normally we work towards a goal, and we there are like certain milestones or there's certain like goal things that tell us we're moving in the right direction. Sometimes I feel with Neptune and Pisces, it almost gets rid of the the um, milestones so like we almost it's almost like we kind of start doubting ourselves more we don't see the direction that we're going in so we really have to embrace the mystery and just trust that we're going in the right direction definitely uh, achievements for you with the two of pentacles and the nine of pentacles you have this idealism card i would avoid I, being idealistic because you know i feel like if you think like in the ideal world that you know everything is going to work out this way um, you know, things never work out that way. <laughs> so I feel like you need to be more creative and more like willing to be spontaneous, right? With this um, idealism card, that's probably going to lead to the most success for you. So uh, pretty good reading here, though, Virgo. I feel like you're starting something new that's going to be successful, plain and simple. Um, but we are going to pull three yes or no question cards now. We're going to do one, um, two, and three right here. One, two, three. Feel free to pause the reading if you need time to think of your questions. But uh, for question number one, uh, I would say no. I, I mean, I feel like you're walking away from something. So I guess I would say no. But if you are walk, if you are asking, should I walk away from something? I would say yes, because I feel like you're walking towards fulfillment regardless. For question number two, yes, chariot. Definitely a victory coming in for you. I'm telling you right now, for those of you that are moving, a lot of success. I mean, I'm cheating a little bit because of the astrology, but if you have ever thought of moving um, Virgo, especially to like a foreign country um, or just um, you, maybe you don't even want to move, but maybe you want to move jobs and you've been at the same job for a long time, anything new, which we talked about with that birth card, whatever this other card was, judgment and everything like that, anything new that you could potentially do that breaks you out of a routine that might be a comfortable routine, you know, there's a lot of success there for you. Uh, for question number three, I would say no. Seven of Swords, so I would say no. But um, overall, really positive reading. Love it. So thank you for being here, Virgo. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.